Hello fans of the North Coast 500, uh, my name is Jim Davis, I am the Managing Director of Ace Adventures and Hideaways. We're based just outside of Forest, which is about 40 minutes to the east of Inverness, so we're not on the North Coast 500 itself, but we're big fans of, of the NC 500, uh, we support them and, and they in turn support us. We do get quite a lot of guests that come to us uh, either before, usually they start, come and visit us on their way to do the NC500 or after. And we've got some amazing adventure activities, whitewater rafting, canyoning, river tubing, paintball and frisbee golf. We have a camping and glamping uh, site as well and we also have a motor home that we, that we rent out. I'm actually walking home from the base having just picked that up from the dealer, having had some servicing done to it. So I hope you're all well. Uh, I can very happily say that our team are all healthy and well as well. We've been uh, doing the right thing, keeping up with the social isolation. I started about 14 years ago. We have uh, been originally originated in Aviemore and now we are located on Logie Estate, and we work with those guys. There's a fantastic facility there called Logie Steading. It's got a cafe and gift shops and uh, arts and crafts, an amazing bookshop, really good whiskey shop, whiskey and gin. We're into that, I think we're all into that at the moment. Uh, and the River Findhorn, I don't know if you can hear it, the background noise, it's just down the bank there and some beautiful old trees here that are enormous in fact the one through there with the sort of scruffy bald one next to it that's supposedly one of the tallest trees in Britain uh, so whitewater rafting is our core business we are one of the better operators in the UK for that we've got a team of people that are have a extremely deep experience in that and we provide a very authentic trip down the River Findhorn. It's a natural river, 70 miles long. We run four different sections, ranging from five to about 13 miles in length. Half day trips, day trips, the kind of customers we get are all sorts from schools and uh, groups of friends together, families, a lot of families in the summer holidays. And just people with a bit of adventurous nature. Where's tourism going in Scotland after this? Difficult to say. I think that uh, I think we're going to see a lot of good come out of this. It's going to be tough for sure. It's going to be tough for us all. Um, I don't think we're anywhere near. Like we're obviously restricted and, and all feeling the effects of that and all concerned and there's a terrible loss for some people which we're very sorry for but I think uh, in the coming months and years we, we we might have some real challenges ahead and consequently what does that mean for tourism well it gives us an opportunity to make it better because if I'm honest with you I think tourism got a little bit out of hand there for a while, as did most of society. And hopefully what this lesson has taught us all is that to value the simple things in life, to value that we don't really need to be consuming all the time and roaring around the place and, um, and, to, and to make sure that the experiences that we get are really authentic. And so I'm really excited about that because I think we've one of our, our mission is to enhance people's lives through adventure and nature. Uh, we do this for the total passion of it. We don't, you know, we, we need to make a living, but um, so everything we do is authentic. And the value of being able to connect to nature and connect with adventure, the benefits are massive. It builds self-esteem, it, uh, it enables to challenge your inner self, you can step outside your comfort zone in a safely managed way and build on that and, and grow in confidence. It's fantastic for communication, it's brilliant for team networking and I'm excited about 
you know, it's what we do, but there's, there's, there's many other offerings. Scotland's got an amazing offering, you know, food, cuisine, history, culture. It's, it's a beautiful place to live. As you can hear, I'm, I'm not Scottish, you know, I'm, I'm from Tasmania. It's another paradise on the planet. And I'm unbelievably lucky to be able to spend time or have been, I don't know what the future holds there, but in both uh, Tasmania and Scotland on a eternal summer for the last 10 years. But providing again rafting, um, these are the places that we should really value because they are incredibly rare in this ever busier world that we live in. So hope to see you sometime when it all settles down. Hope you can come and enjoy what we've got to offer. Um, bye for now.